Most people in life are expecting that they have the right to be themselves. In order to do that, we must honor the laws of America. The laws of America say that we are in ownership of our individual being. Nevertheless, there are people in the political climate right now abusing female reproductivity rights. There are also people in the Christian and religious Catholic communities that feel that they have the right to teach a moral lesson to people they don't like because of their condition. What I want to tell you today is about a storyline. And the storyline is sort of disconcerting. I really want you to get the philosophy we're talking about. Because if you don't, you will lose your life to it. In America, we have something that's really important to most American citizens. That is our birthright. Our birthright comes from the lineage of our families, our heritage, our histories. And openly, if you're like my birth family of origin, you might have a photo, or you might have a book, like we do, three of them in fact, three inches thick and rather large, above an 8 by 10 in height, of your family name in America, meaning you did a genealogy study or a heritage study of your family and produced a printed required record of where you fit personally in the longevity of your family in America. As foreigners come across the sea in the concept of international exchange and our educational systems being allegedly sought at for different types of programs that the countries of origin don't technically have, we are putting ourselves to some risk because some communities abroad are not teaching how to be a proper citizen in the world. Many countries that do not come in from a democracy-minded orientation do not teach the laws of the world, particularly the Human Rights Declaration, which over 400 countries have officially signed into treaty. As America was one of the leader principles in developing that treaty after World War II to try to prevent the atrocities that were going on there at Auschwitz and other places, we have a responsibility to really know that document backwards and forwards and the 27-some articles that are part of the responsibilities of a citizen who is a participant in that treaty. By the very nature of America having signed and developed that treaty with the United Nations and other representatives from around the world, as an individual citizen who has a history and heritage of being an American citizen and resident, we are responsible for those words. If you aren't familiar with that particular treaty, please Google it and look it up. What I'm also suggesting is that we are very careful about the federal laws that govern our, li govern our lives. Apologies for the missteps. But what I'm saying is that under federal law, we have certain truths. And those truths say that I have a right to be myself. Those truths say that I have a right to know my own personhood. Those truths say, I have the right to pursue life, liberty, and happiness my way, not your way. And our Constitution adheres to that. We also have the Bill of Rights, which is technically the amendments of the legal document of the Constitution. It's done a little bit better than the Constitution because it really sort of outlines for people our rights, our freedom of religion our freedom of assembly, our freedom to be a journalist and reporter, our freedom to carry and bury, bear arms to protect our families in self-defense only. We also have the ability to take care of our quarters, which in the olden ways of English actually refers to our home and place of shelter. 
the Fourth Amendment is probably one of the most vital to our life today. It allows us to be secure in our personhood, in our paperwork, and in our property. Our personhood is obviously our individual being, our heart, mind, soul, and body. Our paperwork is obviously all the legal documents from birth certificate to death certificate of our lifetime and lifeline in society. These are the documents of the things that we own and the documents of the things that we leave legacies for. At the same time, we have our possessions, the presents we received over gifts and holidays, the property we purchased with our own discretionary income, and openly other gifts we receive from different people in our business and personal lives. When I talk about these things, it makes sense to you. I could go through the rest of the Constitution, but the reality is you may not care about it today, but you should, because when your rights are revoked by someone else who really has no power and authority to revoke them, you're going to be just as upset. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and the truth is that there are men and some women that are predators, and those predators seek out people to help them to create the world in which they want to live in. The challenge with that, of course, as a citizen, is we can't possibly keep up with all the cultures around the world. We also cannot possibly line ourselves with other cultures and nations because that could be considered the loss of trade secrets. That could be considered the loss of everything in our world. In life, we have most of the time to speak the truth, motherfucker. And if I swear at you, it's to put emphasis on what's coming next. I rarely am swearing about something that has been in the past. What I can tell you, though, is religious rights like to take the rights out of human decency and the rights out of human mobility in terms of public and private domesticated transportation.